The Pittsburgh Steelers make a trade with the Philadelphia Eagles for running back Felix Jones. I was excited when the Eagles acquired Felix Jones as a free agent in the offseason, thinking he could return some kicks and back up LaShawn McCoy at running back. However, the emergence of Chris Polk for the Eagles and Bryce Brown's propensity to now hold on to the football left Felix Jones as the odd man out in Philadelphia. You can't just be a special teams contributor. You've got to give something to the offense or defense to stay on an NFL roster these days. Now, it makes sense for Pittsburgh Steelers to trade away linebackers because they have plenty of depth there. And the Eagles, they acquire linebacker Adrian Robinson from the Steelers. This whole helps the careers of both Felix Jones and Adrian Robinson because they're going to get more playing time on their new teams. It also helps Pittsburgh because they've had running backs going down with injuries. The Eagles, they need depth at outside linebacker. It's not their strongest position and more importantly they need to rotate guys in and out on the Eagles defense because unlike any other team in the league the Eagles defense is going to be expected to stay on the field for long periods of time. Chip Kelly famously mentioned that he does not care about time of possession. His offense does one of two things. It goes three and out and gets off the field or it scores a really quick touchdown because they don't waste time. So they're going to run a lot of plays but not in a lot of time. And all the off-season hype about the Eagles conditioning, their protein shakes, the sports science that Chip Kelly incorporates into his system is all really for the benefit of the defense who really have to be in shape. Now the main factor is their training and the training happens naturally by defending the Philadelphia Eagles offense in mini camps and training camps. So they're going to be in really good shape as it is. But you still need guys to come in and out and rotate. And now Robinson coming over from Pittsburgh could help solidify that position for the Philadelphia Eagles. As far as Felix Jones is concerned, I was really excited about him and I think he's going to benefit with the Pittsburgh Steelers offense. Their offensive linemen are famous for opening holes and he only needs a little bit of a crack and that guy's gone because he has really good speed. And there's a little irony there him playing for Pittsburgh because I always associate the Pittsburgh Steelers with the old Dallas Cowboy Pittsburgh Steeler rivalry in the Super Bowls back when I was growing up. So it's going to be funny to see Felix Jones wearing the black and gold, especially should they ever play the Dallas Cowboys and Jerry Jones. With that being said, both teams, I think, make out in this seemingly minor trade which could play big dividends for both Pennsylvania teams. In other NFL news, last night there were some preseason games, and one notable fact was the fact that Carolina Panthers scored over 30 points against the Baltimore Ravens without the benefit of a touchdown. It's never happened before in history, 30 points without a touchdown. What does this say about the Ravens' defense with the departure of Ed Reed and the leadership of Ray Lewis? Well, these new guys that they are coming in, especially at linebacker, are more athletic than Lewis, can stay on the field longer. They sure are good in the red zone if they didn't allow a touchdown, but they are getting driven on, and that doesn't help the Ravens' offense if they're not on the field as much. So there you have it. The Pittsburgh Steelers get Felix Jones from the Philadelphia Eagles. The Eagles acquire linebacker Adrian Robinson to solidify the defense and the Carolina Panthers score 30 points without a touchdown.